South Sudan's President Salva Kiir and Vice President Riek Machar have differed on when elections should be conducted in the country. President Kiir insists elections should be held in 2024 as scheduled in a peace deal. However, Vice President Machar, who is also the leader of the largest opposition group, says the current security situation in the country means the parties will not be ready for elections next year. CGTN's Patrick Oyet reports from Juba. President Salva Kiir insists that the country is ready for the polls scheduled for December 2024. President Kiir heads the country's ruling party, Sudan People's Liberation Movement, or SPLM. We are going for elections. You prepare yourselves. We are now not looking backwards. We are moving forward. Those who think they will start an armed rebellion after elections or after losing, if you do that, no one is going to join you in an armed rebellion. However, electoral laws are still being debated in parliament. The electoral body is not yet in place. Civic education on the elections and voter registration is yet to start. Many of the political parties in South Sudan have armed wings. These groups have not yet been fully integrated into the national army. Each group remains loyal to and takes order from its own commander. Opposition leader Riek Machar, who is one of the country's five vice presidents, says the country will not be ready for elections in December next year. Riek Machar's party split from the country's ruling party and it also has an armed group. The way forward is for parties to dialogue. This is where we stopped. Because the senior person is the president. And clearly, he knows the challenges that are facing the agreement, the implementation of the agreement. He knows them as we also know them. South Sudan has never held elections since the country gained independence in 2011 due to years of civil war that followed the cessation from Sudan. Many here fear that violence could break out again if elections are held without a proper security arrangements. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.